palabra. ¿Lo ves eso? <laughs> so cute. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. Hey, 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 Tara Griffin, once again. Uh, welcome back to Riffin with Griffin. And um, I'm really excited to uh, have this person on the podcast. Uh, I want to thank everybody for all your love and support and and people sending in theme songs and all that. And I got another good one today. This one might be it. I say that every week, but this one might be the one. But before <laughs> I do that, let me introduce uh, my friend. Um, uh, we, we were on I'm Dying Up Here together. Uh, one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. Aww. Aww, give it up for the, for the beautiful and talented <laughs> Brianne Howie, everybody. Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> You. I know. Oh, look at you. So I know you don't watch my podcast because right. you already told me. Do uh, not. I watch a little <laughs> bit on Instagram and that is all. This on the way over? <laughs> yeah, in the in traffic, in the rain. <laughs> I get it. I, it's, I got a good idea. All right. So this is what I do every week. I have like, you know, I try to, I'm looking for the perfect theme song. Right. So this is, um, this is a new one that is sent in by the talented Brandon Horn. And let's see what Brandon has for us today. Okay, weird start. Weird start. I cracked myself up. Uh oh. Little club banger. <laughs> Here it is. Oh! Oh, riff the griff, riff the griff, riff the griff. Anyways, y'all. Anyway, DJ y'all. Griffin. I know they, they use my voice. Oh, it's like we're at a pool somewhere. Yeah, like drinks. I feel like we're in Vegas. Yeah, we're in Vegas. <laughs> okay. Vegas Burbank, you know. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Brandon. That's a, wow. Okay, that was cool. You want these on or? I uh, know we don't need them on. All right, uh, yeah, well, that was a club banger right there from uh, the great Brandon Horn. Thank you very much. So here you are, finally. Hi. So I'm so excited because um, I watch your show. It's so nice. Yeah, she's really? uh, Brand's on the show, The Passage. Yes. Uh, and you are the Edward on that show. <laughs> uh, I never watched. You, any you never of watched those. Twilight. No, oh, I didn't. Oh my god! And I had to do an interview. This, stop this! Inter- stop I this! Know. We're done. <laughs> I did an interview where they surprised me. They're like, "Let's play these games. We're going to put vampires on the screen, uh-huh. and you guess who they are." And Edward came up, and I had no clue what his name was. <laughs> Luckily, all the pictures after that didn't work and never showed up. So I just pretended I never saw him. <laughs> but he's like, that's like he's the hot vampire. Yeah, and in I know Twilight. Bella. Yeah, <laughs> you know you're all you're caught up now. Team Bella. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you are the you are the Edward of uh, the, well, the how passage. Come? Because you're the hottest one on oh, the okay. show. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you are just, uh, right, we're gonna talk about the passage a little bit. Then I want to talk about how we met. But okay. uh, I do watch it because I'm big on the vampire genre. I, I read. I've actually. I, I, I did read all the Twilight books. Wow. I, I know it seems crazy, but I read all the genre though. Like I. You read, should read the passage. Oh, was that a book? Yeah, it's a well, trilogy. Now I'm in it. I'm they're gonna, they're amazing. I'm really. gonna read that one yeah. too. And I love how um, the differences in like the different vampire lore. Are you into the vampire lore at all? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, we we made it our own. So I mean, I'm into like the perfecting the human race. I liked that part. Oh, you mean like, so on the show how they're like they use this. They're trying to use this vampire virus to like get rid of disease and all this kind yes. of stuff. And the but side isn't effects that are, also doesn't work. part of the mythology where isn't that why vampires want to eat everyone? Cause they want to turn everyone else into a vampire. Cause they think we're perfect and you're all imperfect. Maybe. No, is that not part of the lore? I don't think so. Okay. I well. think it's just vampires are just blood sucking monsters <laughs> as you, <laughs> and you play very well. <laughs> yeah. A lot of blood. Yeah. So you are thirsty. a blood sucking monster on this show. It's yeah. so, it's so weird for me to like, just because every week I'm going, I'm scared of you. I see you like, Oh my God, she's so scary. But I'm like, I get lost in it, you know? It's so fun. But the lore on this one's different. Cause it's like, I, I never seen it like this It's very different in terms of like 
you know, they're, it's not the normal vampire no. stuff other than like they can't be in the sun. Right. It's very scientific. Yes. It's like, I think it's all, it's the most realistic way possible we could have vampires. Well, other than the fact that it was started by, we don't know where that original. Who that, the 200 year old Bolivian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, it starts there. Yeah. We don't know what happened there, but then no. everything after that, they're trying to like merge science and sci-fi, which yeah. that is the part I like about it a lot. Yeah. And, um. I love the little girl on the show, she's too. She's so good. Yeah, she's great. She's amazing. Because usually child actors are like, they're either really fantastic or <laughs> like really horrible. Yeah. Luckily, she's really fantastic. She's really fantastic. Yeah, yeah, but she's you're, sweet. you're great on it, though. It's like. We have a great cast. It is Honestly, a, like, you can't complain. Cast. Everyone's amazing. When we first got it, you're kind of like, I don't know. These are kind of interesting choices, and it all is working. Well, what did you think when you first like got. The part. When I or when first you first like even saw it, they were like, yeah. hey, they were like, hey, there's this vampire thing. Do you, you know? I like Googled the book. My character was a guy beforehand. So I was like, okay, that's cool. I respect the changes. And then my audition scenes were super interesting and it had nothing to do with being a vampire. So oh. it was all, I was just auditioning as a human. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's so funny to say. <laughs> <laughs> You were auditioning as a human. Okay, that's uh, as opposed to <laughs> when we were shooting. I was like, you ever after come in, this, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> coming in as a dog today. I was like, after this show, I want to just be a human. So like <laughs> no, but like girl. a lot of the stuff that you're doing on the show is yeah. very, you, you know, yes, it's like the, the, yeah. the backstory stuff, uh, which it's I love. My favorite stuff. Yeah, because yeah, you're a killer on the show. You yes. killed your mom, and, yes. you're, and you're abusive and stepdad. stepdad. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. So that you know, you come, you're a strong woman, but at the same time, you're in death row, and they take you out of death row and put you in this program to turn you into a vampire exactly. to uh, help a fight disease. So yeah. they have good intentions, but it all fell apart. Exactly. Exactly. So I know. So like, that's what I like about the show. I really like that part of the show, mm-hmm. you know, but I also like, like the interactions and all that kind of stuff. The like, backstories help kind of tie it all yeah. in. Everybody's connected. It gives some humanity to the vampires. Like I think no one expected to be rooting for them. And now some people are like, I don't know. I kind of want them Maybe I want the vampires. I don't. You they're, don't? You're terrible. You're horrible on this no, show. No, we're not. Not at all. You're a monster. What are no, you talking there's about? there's all this gray you're area, though. You're a seductress. If you had the parents she had, would oh, you do the same no, thing? Are your excuses? Um, <laughs> are you defending this yes. monster? A hundred percent. It's called having like empathy and humanity oh, for our God. characters. I think when you're playing a villain, you can't look at them like that. You have to be like, Just, you have to fully see their point of view. Well, I, and that's why you play it so And I well. love Fanning. I don't even get why everyone hates him. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, just this one of these crazy actresses. That <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's all in her head, everybody. This, this one, oh my God. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm here all day. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's a crazy. <laughs> but I, I, so I, all, I mean, yes, everyone's rooting though for Brad and Amy. You Obviously. want them to be safe and okay and win and have a life together. But I, but see, even I guess I see what you're saying because the vampires. What, what choice did they have? They were they were turned. That's what I'm exactly. You know? But then everyone else around them is a part of this like monster. You know. Yeah. They did something bad. Even the main guy. What's what you know? Uh, what's his name? Brad. Brad. Brad yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. That was dark. He yeah, what he was, everything he did to get like you know. It's all the gray area. I think it's kind of what the show is about. But you're still a monster. <laughs> yeah, but if I've already been injected, you got to embrace your situation. Now I'm living for the rest of eternity. What am I gonna do with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I like how they made it. It's so funny to me that they made it where like you know the people before you that got turned they didn't look normal. Yeah, no. <laughs> but they were like, they were like, well, we gotta have her look normal. <laughs> okay. So we did a version of the pilot where I did not look like that whatsoever. And why would you want to waste this? <laughs> I was bald. I had no, no! eyebrows. Oh my yeah. God. There were no veins, but it was pale and and just no hair. I looked like a goblin. Like I looked like, <laughs> what's the, the character in Lord of the Rings? The, oh, like, you look I like have, Gollum? Yes. Yeah. I looked, I'll send you a picture later. Oh, I gotta see um, that. Then we reshot all of that yeah. um, a few months later. Because I'm, sure, I'm sure they were like we could have just got an ugly chick (laughs) why would we hire (laughs) just get someone that already looks like a a golem why we you know it didn't make any sense i don't know i couldn't believe i agreed to it i like signed my life away that way and i'm so happy it's great though changes because it's a super hit 
It's going well. It's going, yeah. Have you, have you got a second season? Not yet? yet. Not yet. Oh God. No. We just jinxed it. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, knock now on it's, wood. Now we play that game. We knocked on okay. wood. No, it's gonna. I'm sure it's gonna get picked up. I think we're okay. The response is good. People are watching. This last episode really ticked me off. Uh, as of really? this, as of this recording, uh, the last episode was like her eyes changed. You know, and I was like, "What's happening?" And then it just went off. You know, the, the credits came on because I watched the show on Hulu. Shout out to them, so I don't have yeah, to watch Hulu. commercials. Yeah, so that's. Uh, I hope it stays on there because it's yeah. great. Because I hate, I hate commercials. No, yeah, yeah, but I have to like. I know through. we have to watch it live to tweet with it, and the commercials really take you out of it. Yeah. Oh, you tweet, you live tweet because yeah. it comes on on Mondays, right? Yeah. And this episode will come out on a Monday, so that's actually perfect. And it's our finale. Oh, 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 if it happens to come out next Monday. When is your finale? Next Monday. Next Monday? Yeah. Oh, then this episode is going to come out next Monday. Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the finale. T- so when, as you're watching this, watch, listening and watching tonight, the finale of yes. Passage. Uh, oh, man. Two hour finale. Two hour They're finale? They're combining nine and ten. Why I don't, do you do that? I have no idea. I don't know if that's a bad thing. Oh. Uh, it's no. coming back. No, 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 no <laughs> I know. I said that to someone, and they were like, "Why would it be a bad thing?" And I was like, "I don't know. Maybe they just want to get it over with. Like yeah. they're just like, oh, combine no, them all." They no, they would have canceled it already. No, 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 no. Or maybe not because they want. Oh god, I hate this business. It's terrible. I hate this business. They, they, they it's keep, rough. Yeah, because see, even like, okay, so by the way, how we met actually, the the, the two of us met. I had an audition. I was walking into an audition for a <laughs> diner here, yeah. and I saw you sitting there, and I was like, oh, look at this beautiful <laughs> creature right here. You were just, and then you were just, you know, you're like, you know, you, I'm, I'm, and I'm sure, you know, since you were 13 years old, every guy is just hitting on you forever. Oh my God. And just like, all no. we constantly can't have a no. regular conversation <laughs> with a guy since 13. Everything's been like, so what's up, girl? And you're like, um, can you just take the, 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 the <laughs> can, can you hurry? Let's get this over. Yeah, with. yeah, Come yeah. On. I got. I have places to be. <laughs> so I saw you, and I was like, "Oh yeah!" And I remember I told you. I said, "You're gonna get it." You did. I you said, did. "You're gonna get this part, and you're gonna be a star." Yeah, you did. You said all of those things. Yeah, and then yeah. you were kind of looking at me like, "I, I was like, now to... you've jinxed it. Now yeah, I'm you, not gonna get you this." You were so mad at me. You and I was like, like, "And I love this role, and I love this show, and this asshole just ruined it." So <laughs> yeah, great. You, you did look at me all yeah. funky. You and don't then, say that. But then I got it. You got it. Yeah. And then we were so happy to see each yeah. other at the table reading. It was, it was so like, fun. Yeah, it was like, you said it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I did. It was the beginning of our story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then we were like, we were holding hands, running <laughs> through a field. And we that's it. Apart. That was the end. Yeah. I know. I, um, damn. Did you ever go, did you ever want, uh, have a chance to go out for Cassie at all? Or you that's always how went out I for, went in. Oh, yes. you went out for Cassie Initially, too? yeah. Yeah, oh, and wow. then they then I got the call back for Ka- uh, whatever the girl's name what was. What was my name? What was your name on the show? Hold on, hold on. Besides, I had besides crabs. slutty waitress. Yeah, with crabs. <laughs> Cat. No. Now was it K K K K K? Yeah, I oh, I, and then, I don't know what happened. I don't know why they didn't bring you back. Because uh, of Exorcist. No, but they could have if they would have. Oh, season committed, two. I know. I they could have committed to you, and then you wouldn't have done the Exorcist. I know. Mm, no. You still would have done the Exorcist. Because my part was. Bu- I'm dying up here is such a big cast. Exorcist was smaller. I think there was more. There was more work room for, you to for do me in. to grow there. Yeah. What? You, now you're, you're like the horror movie. Your I horror know what TV happened. You're on the ex. Were you possessed on it? Because I never got no. a chance to see any. Oh, you were. I possessed? was depressed, not possessed. Oh. They wanted you to think I was the possessed one, but I was really just like really had a lot of attitude and was depressed. And why are you always? These, I know. D- d- why are you always why? damaged? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. I don't know how I'm perceived out there. You're always damaged. Uh. Boy, but before I'm dying up here, you know what? Let's get your origin story. Like, where are okay. you from? Pasadena. La Cunada, Pasadena. La, you're from Pasadena? Uh, yeah, I where, it, why? I thought it was going to be more like, something more exotic. Like, like where? Arkansas. Or uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Arkansas, super exotic. <laughs> no, but that's like the rags to riches. Like, you're like, yeah. you're from, you're from Pasadena. No, no, went to like an all-girls Catholic high school. Oh, you're so bougie. Pasadena. Where? Where'd you go? Sacred Heart. You went to Sacred Heart? I you know to, that? I went to Daniel Murphy. I don't know. That's yeah, because I'm older than you. It was a Catholic school. That was one Where? of our sister schools. It was in the Mid Wilshire area. It's closed down since. Okay, then. I remember because you grew up around here. Yeah, I grew up in yeah. LA too. Yeah. I'm from okay. LA. I didn't even know. I didn't realize you were from LA also. Yeah, like you like this like like low La Jolla High School because yes. those were all like all yes. the dances. We had yeah. to do all the dances yeah. together. 
Um, oh, so, okay, so you went to Catholic school. Yeah. I mean, before that, I went to the schools in La Cunada. Well, what is your Catholic family saying about all your devil? My grandma on TV? hates it so much. <laughs> it makes her so upset. It starts to hurt my feelings. And I'm like, I'm, at, I'm just working. Let's just be happy. I have a job. And it's not, no, she can't stand it. Like, I wasn't, when you go to grandma's, does she bring out the holy water? Oh, <laughs> my grandma gives me holy water in old mouthwashes. She she pours out the mouthwash, but it just then when I put it on, it just is like I'm putting Listerine on myself. <laughs> she hey, I, the last episode that aired on Monday, I'm smiling a lot in the diner scene, and yeah. she was so happy. Yeah, she, she was. was like, it was the first. Lead. Yeah, she was like, "You're smiling, and you look happy and yeah, healthy." You're and just a killer. Yeah, in that she's one. like, "What happened?" <laughs> She oh, that must it. be. She wants me to just do like a lifetime show. <laughs> like she's like, you get to look pretty, you, you get the guy. Show. I know, but lifetime it's hard to explain that. Yeah, she don't lifetime shows. You're crying in a bathtub, <laughs> <laughs> washing the like the sounds the, like a the, good the, lifetime Washing show, the though. abuse <laughs> off of you. That's all every lifetime movie and <laughs> <No>. show. <laughs> You don't want to do one of those scenes where you're no. in the shower, like, I can't believe this happened to me, yeah. you know? <laughs> but, um, okay, so you, all right, so you go to Catholic school. Okay, Did you Catholic know you school. wanted to be an actress when you were in Catholic school? No. I mean, I did all the plays, but only because I didn't make any teams. I liked aud tr audition oh, for yeah, sports. Athletic. I, like, tried out for all the sports teams, and just, it didn't work. So you didn't do, oh, that, oh, then what did you do? Then I had tried out for a comedy sports, the improv team. Really? And then I made it. That is so hilarious. <laughs> is it? No, like, let me ask you, were you a late bloomer? Like, were you always, like, this fine? Or was oh, it, like... Oh, late bloomer. Uh, when did it happen? Like, 20 Ma or... <laughs> <laughs> oh, high school doesn't count as late. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you were a mean girl, I see. <laughs> were you like, you can't sit with us? Were you one of those? No, not at all. My school was super small. Everybody was friends. There were like 90 people per grade. I oh, loved okay. it. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, I think it's, uh, what do you think about all girls schools? I love it. I would, I, if I had a daughter, I would send her there. Yeah, I, I, I was reading a thing about this, about like, I think uh, uh, all girl environment is, is, is better for girls but I don't think an all-boy environment is good for boys. They need to be around women to learn how to act. To, like, normalize. To normalize. Totally. It. But women, I think it's great because then they get to shine. Because you need them away. You, you know? need the boys away. Yes. I don't. I think if I had stayed at the school I was at in La Cunada, which was co-ed, I don't think I would have done comedy sports because that takes a lot of courage. And it's kind of yeah. a break. You have to really put yourself out there. And, and you're so consumed. Exactly. Yeah. So you did the com so comedy sports. What does that even mean? Is it, does everyone not call it that? No. It's just the high school improv. Troupe. Okay, but you call it comedy. Okay. It was sport. called comedy sports. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> That's just to make the nerds <laughs> feel better. You know, like you're doing sports. <laughs> yeah. We. What did we say? We would compete for applause, not for trophies or something. It rhymed though better than that. Yeah. I don't know. So you did, did you fall in anyway. love with it then? Anyway. I, I did love it. I loved it. So you... That's where I met my closest friends. I'm still friends with all of them. So you... Oh, that's great. Yeah. I, it was I a nice community. You, I didn't... I wouldn't see you doing comedy, though. I, that's that's so crazy. That's so mean. No, it's not. I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you had me cracking up all the time. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta get see out how, of See here. how network she is? See how network she is? <laughs> Okay, so you, all right, so you, you did the um, you did the comedy sports. Comedy sports, um, no, it was great. It was so fun, and then that's how then I started doing plays. Mm. Then that started. That was fun, and I loved it. It was going well. I knew I wanted to go to college in New York, so I kind of thought if I could get into NYU's acting department, then maybe this. Oh, is so you for real. so in high school you knew you were like I want to do this for a living. Uh, yes and no. I mean, no, like no one in my, I'm not surrounded by people who are in the industry. Like I didn't grow up with any right, of that. So right. I didn't really take it as like a viable option. That, you know what that is? It's from living in LA. Like yeah. it, when we live, when you're from LA yeah. and you're born in LA, it, it feels more like a pipe dream. Yeah. Where I'm like, that's not really a path I'm going to go. I don't even know how you do that. But then I don't know. I love doing theater. So then, and I love New York so much. So I was like, if I could get into NYU's department, then maybe this is the real deal. Wow. So, but were you like leading lady in uh, in your high school plays? I was Alice in Alice in Wonderland. Oh, of course she was Alice, everybody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, let me move this so it's not on that side. Put oh, it it's here. a little late now. But, yeah. No, okay. Yeah, was, so you, uh, you were Alice in, oh my Alice, gosh. Alice in Wonderland. So you were um, the, I was also, but so in you the were the, musicals. Were you, were, were you the most popular chick in school type Hell of thing? Hell no. Oh. I can't sing or dance. So when the musicals came, they would just shove me in the back and let me like sashay <laughs> off. 
And that they was would you, get, yeah, you were this chick? I, like this left, team. right, left, right, exit. <laughs> Like to this day, I'm still scarred from the, the. I hate musicals. Is that why you didn't do like cheerleading or anything like no, that? No, I'm not coordinated. I can't. I that's why I didn't make any sports teams. Like it, I tried and tried and what, tried. What sports teams did you go out for? Volleyball, tennis, basketball. Then I even tried saxophone. Not that that's athletic. <laughs> oh, but mus- you went to the musical. Then, sports? then I tried that. <laughs> yeah, it was your lung capacity. Um. And just not, none of it panned out. It was Saxophone? just terrible. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. I think Bill Clinton like did it on TV. Oh, you, did you have a crush cool. on Bill Clinton? No, not a crush. I was too little. But he was very popular. Okay. So you you, you saw that and you're like, I want to do that. Yeah. Okay, so like you're Alice in Wonderland. And then what else were you? What else did we do? We did weird plays like we did Trojan Women, which were, um, so I think I was just in the Greek chorus. Alice was like female, my big It was always thing. female cast. You didn't, you didn't like have... Males from other. We did the, from oh, the boys' school. They boys, were oh, so you could practice yeah. after school. Yes, okay, yeah. that's pretty dope. Yeah. I wish I would have done that. I it's great. Oh man. Yeah. Okay, so then you wanted to go to NYU. Yeah. When did you want to go to NYU? When 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 in the process? Your junior year. You yeah. were like, oh. yeah. I think I, we went to New York, and I oh, no, even sooner than that. I think the first time I went to New York, I was like, this is where I want to be. Oh wow. I loved it. You loved. Oh, so how long were you in New York? So you went. You got Before, in. Yeah, got in. You, I had to minor in child psychology because my mom was like, I'm not paying this much <laughs> to have you just study theater at NYU. That's so, so funny. I have my backup So you plan. in this bullshit child psychology <laughs> class, like going over your lines. Like, I can't believe I'm even in here. This is stupid. <laughs> no, I liked them. It's interesting. I liked it. Shout out to mom. She yeah. was right. Yeah. Um, and then... Then I kind of started doing the student film. So my my roommates at NYU, who are still some of my closest friends, were these girls in the film department. And oh. they started putting me in their stuff. Right, right. And then I was like, this is amazing. And then I kind of just kept doing it. Yeah, and you and you never stopped. Pretty much. Yeah. I was able to graduate with a good reel because I did so many where a few oh, wow. turned out not bad out of the like Do you ever look at them now and be like, oh my God, I can't believe I Yeah, I'd rather choice. not. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to let those be. That's okay. <laughs> Isn't it great though? Like at the time you first do something, you think like, oh my God, I was so good at that. All my yeah, choices. I'm giving everyone the DVD. <laughs> like, you guys, I did this. You mean the VHS yeah. tapes, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you, okay. So then um, what was your first, like you graduated. So I graduated. Did you get an agent right away? I got um, with Untitled, who I'm still in with, they're my management. Um, they sent me out on my first appointment, which was 90210. Get out of here. I went in for Girl in Green. This is my first ever, like, real audition. And I booked a better role. I booked Stacy. Oh, wow. Who was, yeah. I went from Girl in Green to Stacy. Let me guess, she was a tart. <laughs> <laughs> Typecast from the beginning. <laughs> Well, and she in was it, an evil tart from the yeah. jump. <laughs> She's also a late bloomer. Ah, um, she was a late bloomer. She, yeah, no, yeah. Stacey, now I'm starting not to realize Stacey. you're like late bloomer. Like you were, your your freshman year, you were like, I'm already bloomed, <laughs> ready to go. Right. Um, Stacy, my scene was bidding on this guy at, at an auction to have a date with him. Oh, and then we like made out in the back seat. Oh wow! So yeah, you've, you've been like doing like love scenes from jump, huh? Pretty much. Is that like a thing? Does they ever bother you, or like, do you have to? Pre- how do you prepare? Because you no, it's, le- it's a- lessened. I ended up playing like then a handful of lesbians along the way, which oh. I really liked. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll find footage of that for. <laughs> One of them was like an ABC Family Show where I was oh, kind of surprised. So it wasn't real lesbians. No, we were then. kissing and stuff. Oh, really? On yeah. the ABC Family? Yes. yes. Wow. It was called Twisted. Um. Yeah, it was great. So you did? Oh, oh okay. So after Stacy. After Stacy, then what I do? Then I did like a handful. I my my trajectory really kind of has been like I started out with like one line and then yeah. two and then three. Like I didn't I didn't. Some people skip these steps and I don't know how. Like All they right. just start getting like recurring roles or leading roles right away. Well, there's there's no there's no right or wrong way. Is what no, it no, is. no no no. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, and mine was really just kind of. You've got a great trajectory now that I think about it. Like it's yeah. just like going like you know. Yeah. Because after you did that role, but you did do some. I've done it. I did like what are like Criminal Minds and NCIS and Y Five O. I've done all those, and I did like um, then the Twisted, the ABC Family Show was my first big recurring. Oh wow! I think that's when I quit my side job, maybe, and was oh, like, okay. A, oh, you had a side job. Yeah. In New York. 
Not in New York. No, so right after NYU, I moved back to LA. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So you then, moved to LA. Yeah, then the work was here. You're but a waitress the, at where? <laughs> what did I do? No, I was, I worked at Agent Provocateur. Oh, you look at, you, uh, look at, you see how, uh, you see how bougie she Why is? Why is that bougie? Yeah, you were like, I am going to be a big time worker. <laughs> I was a waitress though in New York and stuff. Like I would do cocktail waitressing. I worked for an acupuncturist. Oh, wow. I worked at a hair salon. And you just, you just Catering. Had to, this, yeah, this I've always all, done it. This is all help like, you know. I mean, like, I didn't, yeah. Like, I was out. I think it's cool when you're out in the world. And this yeah. was you, too. You have all, you, where you're out in the world before, you, so you yes. start really working your auditioning, so you have stuff to bring to the table. Okay, I, so, you, yeah. so you did Twisted, did which Twisted. was on, what was that ABC on? Family. Oh, that was the ABC Family yeah, yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, And you were, like, recurring on that. I recurred on that. That was, like, a high school drama. Denise Richards played yeah. my stepmom. Oh, wow. Yeah. And now she's on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, which you don't what? do Housewives. No, I, I, I don't. I just don't understand. Like, really, what it means to me when I watch those kind of shows, it just is like it's really about men that make bad decisions and women. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> because they married these monsters. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they're, yeah. they're monsters. So I Kelsey just... Grammer's wife was on Beverly Hills, and he started having an affair and wanted to distract his wife, so he signed her up for the show. Oh my! That's and a, then did like wow. I know. I know. What? Yeah, it's crazy. That's how you have it in an affair? Yeah. Well, oh. it worked because then she was distracted, started making some money, and he's like, I got to go. And then, he, then he left Yeah. Her. Oh, I, you watch those shows? Yeah, I do. That's, is that your guilty pleasure? For sure. My, you know, that TLC, we have, I know. Well, we have a mutual guilty pleasure. Yes. It's 90 Day Fiance. Obsessed. <laughs> Absolutely. The government shutdown was the worst thing to ever happen <laughs> because it delayed our show. <laughs> I just, that show infuriates me. Because, because these they're, people, I know, they're insane. I'm, I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Why are you sending all your money to that person? There's just nothing logical happening in any scene with any person at any point in time. I just, and then like the families hate each other. Like, I'm still knee deep into that other season with like Nicole and, and, and Azin. And Azin. Nicole's like, on all the seasons though. That one's really heartbreaking. She's is. got a kid. Oh it's God, dark. What are you it's doing? really dark. Yeah, and then like, and then and then they're they're often and it, when he took her on the hike, I was like, this isn't a match. <sighs> yeah, this is not a match. No, no, you don't take the fat chick on a hike. Like, what are you? I doing? don't know. Like, does he not have other people he could take advantage? I don't know why he's so invested in her in particular because well, he's put in so much time at this point. I, I don't know. I don't know. know. I just I just don't get. And then I think yeah. they're doing a spinoff show. I think they might have their own. Oh God! It's just sometimes so sad. it feels gross. I know it does feel gross. Yeah. But the gro really gross thing about it is the fact that like when you watch that show, we always feel like the hot couples are supposed to make it, and then we have this kind of like like angry reaction yeah. to like the fat person or the old guy huh. and we're like what are you doing that you don't yeah. deserve <laughs> love you know it's weird how we feel i think they're exploiting those type of people they are for sure but like because all the hot couples are just as bad who are the hot couples though well the hot couples will be that, like it's a, always there's always one hot person that it's never two okay there's two, okay what about the the, the 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 model that's in miami the, the colombian model oh what's her face and then oh the with guy, russ russ the, yeah. that couple yeah you would think they paola. would make it paola wait they paola. had a baby if we're talking about this did they make it they, yeah, yeah okay yeah. they had a okay they had a baby they have a baby because they were rocky for a I know, little while I know. right well she had to live in oklahoma that's the other thing everyone assumes america America is all the same all across the yeah, board. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. don't know that if you're it's going not. to Tulsa or like yeah. what Tallahassee is like, it, or even yeah. in LA, like true. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't like if you're in Reseda or it's not, <laughs> it's not LA. Hollywood. No, you know what I mean? do you see the chick who went to Las Vegas? No, I haven't seen. She's that She's so one. disappointed. <laughs> So incredibly disappointed. How about, the, how about the one where she gets there and he's got a roommate and there's roaches and you have to walk through the roommate's room? Oh. You have yeah. to walk through the roommate's room to get out the place. Yeah, they're still together. I can't. I, yeah. What? I know. <laughs> but they were really young and like met when he was studying abroad or something. Like some of them kind of are Those viable. are the ones I think that we always think they're going to make it. Yeah. Like Paola met. they kind of do. No, Russ met her yeah. in Colombia. Like on vacation. Or what about the Dominican one where the two families hate each other? I oh cannot. Oh my God. Everyone on that. In that is stupid. I, but they're crazy. They're all the insane. mom scares me. The, yeah. The mom and okay. So she pulled her weave out. Oh my! But they're so stupid. I know. They, they I know. just the things that they say. I know. I uh, anyway. River liked. Um, this is the last thing. River liked one of Rivers the brother. Uh -huh. yes, liked yes, yes, one yes, of yes. my comments and it was. Oh special. no! <laughs> you are a Rivers a fan. Look at I, you. I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, oh, yeah, he's a fan. I can't stand him. Uh, it's tough. He is. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, so no, no one else watches 90 Day Fiance <laughs> I know, I know, other than you and me. Moment. All right, so okay, so you're on Twisted. Okay, yeah. So we did Twisted. That's my that was the, my first girl that's not the MTV show. Girl though. kiss. No, okay. no, no, no. This was the ABC uh, Family. Oh, so you were a lesbian on ABC Family. Yeah. Which is crazy. This is my first, yeah, lesbian role. But of course your lipstick in that one. <laughs> yes. And who in the other I thought one? You what? said something else. Yeah. And the other like, one was too, right? Um Yeah, always kind of. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, that's, that's that's how they do it. They don't want it to be real. Yeah, it was like not just, too realistic. Yeah, they don't want it to be yeah. too realistic. It's a network. Young yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you and you did reoccurring. You're the reoccurring. Yeah, like, and then Vixen. I would do like, I did like playing house. You ever watch that show? No. I loved those girls. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, enough where I I got to basically quit my side jobs and okay. kind of keep going. There would be like a few months in between where it'd be terrifying and it'd be like, oh my god, but what am I gonna do? Just like everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah what yeah. are we doing? But that was the moment you were like, I'm working. a working actress. Yeah, yeah. Even though, even though before that you were, but you still like, ah, I still got to keep this job. Yes. And that- then I worked at the Hollywood Bowl doing nights. Because oh, then wow. that was like my night job. And that was fun. Um, and then I was free during the day. But, but, yeah. the, but the moment that you were like, I'm a, a working actress. Yeah. That must. Have, what was that like? Um, what was that like? It was great. I mean, I remember, I mean, it's scary because that is a pretty big leap to take because you don't totally know what's going to happen. That's like, like I'm saying, so when you quit your job, was that a moment yeah. of like, should I do this? Of course. Yeah. Of course. But luckily I knew them and they were like, you need to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also insulting in a little bit. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So then just out of stubbornness, I probably wouldn't ever have gone back. But luckily it was okay and I didn't need to. I'm going to make it yeah. damn you. Now I have to. Yeah. yeah. So you did twi- after Twisted. When, when what was after that? Because didn't you do when? Did, when did you do that MTV show? Because that was the one that was right what before was that I'm MTV Dying MTV show. Remember? Didn't you do? Weren't you on that? Like, were you the were model the, show? The model show. That was that was a really specific show that never aired in the U.S. for Comedy Central UK. Oh wow! But that was so you were international. <laughs> but it, it was cool. Like it was a multicam, which is a whole different experience. Oh wow! I'm sure, you've done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I hate it. Yeah, it's it's like a cool skill I think to have uh-huh. as an actor, especially in the beginning, because there's so much of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if I, yeah, I don't know. My manager was like, "You need to." Oh, this is yeah. She was like, "You need to take a multicam class because you're right for a lot of those things, and you yes. you, you could be, you could be right for them." Yeah, you definitely. If you just yes. took a class, you'd be the hot wife with the fat husband on a on a multicam. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're too young for that now. I'm saying like I hope, yeah. ten more yeah, years. Yeah. You're gonna be the, you're gonna be the hot Look, 40s mom. It's not a bad gig if <laughs> yeah. you want to shoot in LA. You know your hours. The schedule when is, kids come into play. The schedule like, is great. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah. So you did that. Did you have to go to so UK? Do, yeah. That that's why the job was so cool. I loved the people I got to work with, and we got to shoot in London. Two wow! Seasons, yeah. Look at you. So you lived in London for two years? No, for like two and a half months. Oh, twice you didn't. St- oh, got now. you, got you. So they put the, you up. We uh, did the live shows. It was like tw- 10 episodes. Yeah, yeah. Just ten weeks. So that was. Like, and it must have been enough money where you were like, I'll do that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so then because that's when that's when the I'm dying up here audition came. Um. Yeah, I guess so. If you remember that, I wow. do remember that because you were just telling me you were just doing that, and you were talking about having to go back. Yes, that's right. Yeah. God, good memory. Yeah, because we because the thing about it that was crazy about I'm dying up here. It was like Ever. a it was like a it was a decade process. It felt like yeah. you know because it's like we did the pilot in and November did, yes. of 2015. Yeah, but we booked the part say two months, three months before yes. that. Yes. Yeah. I remember Andrew Santino saying he could have had a child in between. Yes. So much time was passing. Yeah. So we did that, and then we and then like it was a year before we did the next season. Yeah. You know, and I thought they, 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 wait, did you? I didn't do season two at all. Oh, I thought they, no. that sucks. Yeah. Um, I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I don't know what happened there either. But you, so then you got I'm Dying Up Here. Yes. You did that. That was great. And that, I, I, think, I loved that. But I think that I'm Dying Up Here, like, was, was like, it made you a serious actress at that point. Because that's a really elevated show. Yeah, it was. You know, like, it was, it's cool to start getting to do cable. Um, and to get wor- to work with super experienced people like all of you guys, like that for me, that was cool, especially because you guys were recognizable, and I knew who you guys were. And oh, well, that was my first. It drama. was cool. It was. Yeah. Interesting. So, what did you think of that? Uh, it was. It was so challenging. Yeah. But at the same time, I thought comedy. Actually, I realized that drama is easier than comedy. Absolutely, yeah. I agree. Not everybody could do comedy. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, I real. I realized, like you know, just I realized that I'm gonna be funny. 
even if it's like in a serious moment, I just, I have a, a humor. So I'm going to bring levity to something serious, but to bring like, you know, humor to something that's supposed to be humorous. Yeah. It depends on, it's just so many different levels. It doesn't totally. always mean you have to be wacky or Not like, at all. You know, I think the more serious you take comedy, the funnier it is. Yeah. But that's that's why, why not everybody could do that's it. That's exactly. Because they don't have that drama. But that's what I learned from that. Yeah. You know, so you. And the material was serious. It was great. Especially for you guys. Yeah. A lot of the stand up material was, you know. There I know. were uncomfortable moments in a good way. Well, you too. I mean, I remember like my my fondest memory of you on set is we're like we're at the bar. Yeah. And it was just like, you know, we found out Clay was dead. Clay died. And, yeah, and it was like they just go, okay, cry. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, fuck. <laughs> yeah, fuck, yeah. You fuck. had to like just like the whole that like yeah. hour, you're just over there. <laughs> over and over. And I was again. like, wow, I just kept and I and my my scene was just a look. I, I just, I didn't even have lines in that. It was just like, and then they even went over to me like, oh, we got to get, uh, we got to get his look. And I was just like. Oh yeah, that was the big group scene. The big group yes, scene. Yes, yes. Yeah. It was a good scene. Yeah, it was a great scene. Yeah. You know, working with Melissa Leo. Yes. You she know, was behind the bar. As crazy as she is, it was still, it was still a fascinating to be around her. And that's kind of what it's all about, right? Yeah. I Well, you would, you would think so. I mean, the, you know, the, the hard part about when you work on a show like that, it's like, it's like summer camp. You know? yeah. because we're like, oh my god, I love you. We're gonna be friends forever. And we're like talking. We had a we had a group chat. Remember when we? Were yeah, like, you guys took me <laughs> out of it. It didn't take me actually. It took me longer to realize than I probably want to admit. I was like, no one's texting the phone anymore. It's... We had this great group chat with the, all the actors, and then everybody that gets removed from the show, we start a new chat. That was out. You know who's funny? Al Madrigal did that. He did. Yeah, it was Al that did that. He sent a new text. Uh, Bree's gone. No. <laughs> I'm going to give him a hard time. You should give him yeah. a hard time because he knew you weren't coming back. And we we're like, all right, moving on. Yeah. I was like, weird. I guess they don't hang out anymore. Uh, so, I mean, was, yeah. yeah, we did. It was <laughs> like, I remember you found out. I remember you, you were like, hey, what happened to them? And you're like, well. Uh, I was like, it went really quiet. Did you guys start a new thread? <laughs> yeah, we started a new thread. Nice. Because it would just be like, we're talking about the show. Yeah, and no. That would have been rude. I was already pretty out of the loop anyway, honestly. It was it was bound to happen. Yeah, but we we, we didn't know. I wanted you to be on the show. Yeah. I, I thought I yeah. thought you would. You, uh, I don't understand it. There was room for there was room for you. I, I know. Know. There's, but it's like but there you always on, are questions. But listen, you went on to bigger and better things. Yeah. You, you did The Exorcist, and I don't think I would have gotten passage if I didn't do Exorcist. Yeah, well, yeah, because now it you're helps that you chick. stay in the loop with them. With yeah. Fox and, oh, because yeah. that was on Fox too. Yeah, and same casting directors too. Oh, well, they that they love you. They love you. But this is, I mean, because what did you think of The Exorcist? What, what was that I experience loved it. like? I thought it was amazing. It was another show. It was similar to this genre, high stakes, kind of crazy, a crazy, crazy big world. Wait, who was on that? Uh, Gina Davis played our mom. Gina Davis was your mom. Yeah. How did, okay, this is what I wanted to ask you. I'm yeah. Not to, okay, how is that? Because like when you were a young actress and even a young girl, you yeah. Gina Davis was like, you know, she was like you. You know it's, what I mean? Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> and now she's playing your mom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was a little starstruck. Um, she is. She's amazing, though. She's really tall also, which surprised me. <laughs> she's really, really smart. That was the most surprising thing. She's in Mensa. She's super oh, left-brained. Wow. Yeah. Shit. So her approach to things was more, um, like, I, yeah, I think I'm probably a little bit more emotional and she was more technical. Mm. Um, so, but I, what's interesting to me too is to, when you mean you technical work, as an actress? Yes. Like how yes. she approached it? Yeah. Like it was very important um, where we were in the scene physically. Like, or if you, like, don't touch that glass if you didn't before. Oh. Like, she wanted, uh, that's just the way her brain worked. Um, and, but that's always cool, I think, to see. Like, that's one of my favorite things about getting to work with new people is, like, how, what do they do on set? What can I learn from them or, or what can I take away from this? Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah. And then, so then, then you got the passage right after that. Yeah, it, which was, it was similar, the timeline time dying up here where we had to wait, it was like a year and a half before oh, it all Jesus started. It was, t it was, it was so I was terrible. on a hold and it's like soul sucking. Yeah, because it, no money's coming in. No money's coming in. You can't even go audition for anything <laughs> mm. and you're just watching all these things happen and. And it's like that's when your agent's calling too, like, there's this great part for you that you can't do. Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. Or they're like, do you want to try? And we'll try to convince them. And I'm yeah. like, well, that puts some pressure on it. But sure. And then uh, know, it just yeah. doesn't. Uh. It's not a desirable. I don't think they look at you like it's a desirable position to be in. Right, 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 right. I know exactly what you're saying. Wait, what is that noise? What's that? Um, <laughs> and then, but then when you started, like, it was... It, you know, it was just a fantastic experience, right? Like, yeah. Like, how's that? How's all that makeup and stuff, though? Is that like a nightmare? It's, um, I mean, it's three hours. 
Really? Yeah, two and a half, three hours. The guy, Addison, um, is phenomenal. He did it all. Like, hats off to them. Because they really, that could really make or break it, you know? Like, I think. Um, yeah, I can't stand when, like. Right? If it looks bad, bad you're not going to watch. I yeah. Know, bad wig is so bad. Yeah, that was the problem when I was dying up here first season. We just had these w- ridiculous wigs. Was mine bad? You're, no, you you were. It was okay. It just was weird. It, yeah, it was weird. And you know, I remember from a diner here, you punched me. I always remember that, too. In a scene? Yeah. In our I first did? scene together. Oh, my God, yes. You came no. in, you oh, hit me really hard. In the kitchen. <laughs> yes. Wait, I think I do that. I had a scene yes, in- Yes, you hit me really hard. I remember just going like, this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I, for Shauna's backstory for Passage, where we're in the kitchen and I, and I mean, this is a different kind of scene, but where I go after the stepdad, I yeah. have to like, I have to physically approach him and I, I hit him really hard. And, <laughs> and he kind of like, and I was like, I don't know why I did that. Like, I, <laughs> That's your move. Yeah, I guess so. Oh man! Yeah. Okay, but back to the makeup. Um, back to the makeup. Can I ask you when you do when you're doing those makeup scenes? Yeah. Is it like that that whole day is going to be vampire day? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So they're called our viral days, where we're Ooh. just all viral. You yeah. bust them all out. Um, and we have the cheekbones, which I really like. That kind of that's what changed the whole face, really. Oh, I don't even notice that. They were have... very subtle cheekbones, oh, so we're wow. even more gaunt. Oh. And then they lay on the prosthetic uh-huh. veins that are kind of three D. I love your Instagram, by the way. You got to follow her. I'll have all that information on on the on the on the bottom of the the video, but. Yeah, you always have some great behind the scenes uh, oh, I'm glad. shots. Those are good. I was worried as I got back into auditioning now that the show's over. I was like, shit, are people going to look at my Instagram and be like, we can't. I don't want to cast this vampire. <laughs> like, it's all vampire stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, um, occasionally you need I'm to trying, put up a. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so I'm trying to have some more variety now. Yeah. Um, but then we have, yeah, the teeth and the veins, and then they hand paint the veins, and that's what takes a long time, but makes it look so real. And then the contacts, which are like uh, a quarter, like they're really, they cover oh, your whole wow. eyeball. Yeah. They have someone come to set to put them in. Wow. Yeah. So there's like, did you not? Because I hated putting on the makeup and the wig. Yeah. No, honestly. That day I'm all. That day I'm all, in the mornings. I'm always yeah. like, oh god, here we go with this nonsense. I don't mind it. Honestly. You don't mind it? No, it's kind of relaxing. Oh, I, I mean, just, you don't do anything. You just sit zen, there yeah. and yeah, hang out. Wow. Well, you know, like I say, you're great on the show, and Thank I hope you. it goes. And, and I feel like this is gonna rocket launch. I'm gonna pick, make another prediction. This is gonna rocket launch you into like like movies and stuff. Aww. Do you want to do movies? Absolutely. Of course, yeah, I yeah. see. I I can see that. Like you're yeah. alongside like whoever. Yeah. You know, you're, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just want to be alongside whoever. Just like you in you in yeah. like you know you're in like the John Wick four or something. Oh. You know? <laughs> yeah, I want to do a sequel to something. <laughs> Or you're gonna be in some artsy nonsense that's gonna be in Sundance and everybody. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, you're gonna be. I, I see you doing both. You oh, know what thanks. I mean? Now, what I want another thing I want to talk to you about is like, so I know you're in a relationship. How's Doogie? He's great. <laughs> My doctor boyfriend. He's not. I a call doctor. him Doogie Hauser. He's not a doctor though. Yeah, what is he? He's, he's a, a lawyer. lawyer. Yeah, he's good. He's good. He doesn't like the makeup. Oh, he doesn't. That like was it either? T- when I would cold FaceTime him like just quickly. With a surprise, if I'm in full makeup, didn't like that. Yeah, well, because I, 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 I put on your thing that that's what his mother thinks you are anyway. <laughs> that, that's that's that image. Monster. Yeah, yeah, she's a monster. Yeah. No, but he's. I always, um, I always, I always tease her about this. You know, her boyfriend. Since, like, since the day we've met. Because this is still I... my celebrity crush. Is, <laughs> is, you're still my. Cele- I, I'm still holding out. <laughs> You started such a rumor on set that we were getting married. People were texting me. Because <laughs> I keep asking, yeah. like, has he proposed They yet? were like, congratulations. And I'm like, oh, my God, Eric. Every time, you get, every time you're like, yeah, I'm going, going on a on trip. Vacation. I'm like, yes. oh, this is when he's going to ask you to marry. You practicing your surprise face. <laughs> he's going to do it. I don't know why he has it. Like, what kind of idiot wouldn't marry this woman already? Because why is everyone <laughs> trying to get married? I don't get it. Is he? Do you want to get married? Um, now that we have been together long enough now where it does, I mean, yeah, he's my partner. So in that sense, yes. yes. But I, I have never been that girl who's like fantasized. Oh, right, like right, I have right. no. Yeah. You wanted to go to NYU and like travel the world. Nothing comes like, I don't yeah. have those. I just never fantasized about that. There's nothing wrong with it. And also, I don't know. The majority of my family, everyone kind of gets divorced. It's uh, like not. You have a bad baby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't I know. It. I'm, I'm just, I'm not running towards it, but I, I think it you. can be a great thing. Of course. But he's, you could be together like two years now, right? No, three years. Three and a half. Three and a half years. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> That's her, her one negative quality. Everybody, <laughs> her boyfriend's like a mole. You know? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's a great guy. I love that. I love your Instagram and all that. Now, does he? He because he's in the, he's a doctor. 
right? No, he's a lawyer. lawyer. <laughs> Sorry, he's a lawyer. I, I always say yeah. doctor, but because yeah. I, I love calling him Doogie Howser. Yeah. Because he's like, he's got, he's like a cute young face dude. Like he's so, <laughs> like he looks like he's 11. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's a good looking guy, obviously. You when think- did you say? Oh, at the premiere. Yeah, I saw when, the premiere. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but like uh, how is he about like, you know, your the love scenes and you're kissing guys all the time? He is funny about it. He's super chill. Like he's definitely my foil. I feel like I'm more energetic and have a lot going on, and he's like calm, cool, collected. Well, he's a lawyer. Um, yeah. But so during like the kissing scenes, he gets all riled up and I like that. Oh, he gets. I like, uh, it's like finally you, it affects him. Yeah, you're, you're the worst. You you love getting. So did you see my uh, makeout scene today? You did watching? you see my makeout scene? <laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't like interrogate you like a lawyer. So um, also, sometimes he goes, "Well, how many takes were there?" Like he wants to. Yeah, he has like number based questions. You're like, yeah, well, we practiced yeah. like ten <laughs> yeah. times the day before. <laughs> He get- no, he doesn't really care though. That's good. Good for him. Yeah. So he's securing himself. Yeah, definitely. This well, whole thing, no, he's just super supportive. That's great. That, yeah. He's a keeper. Because yeah. like after three years, you know, because like, it would be terrible to be with somebody that's like, you know, he's like, you kissing that motherfucker no. again. It just wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't I couldn't work. do it. Yeah, it wouldn't work. And no. Not in Hollywood. No. You know what I mean? That's good. Does, your, does, does grandma like him? She does. <laughs> she does. Thank God. <laughs> It, it's just it's just funny to think about your grandma and him like like you're like like talking about your vampire stuff like yes. I can't believe she looks like that she really hates it <laughs> like she an exorcist was honestly worse than this because that's like sacrilegious it's very oh like, yeah. right that was like the worst thing I could have done because you went to Catholic school so yes. your whole family's like staunch yes. Catholic mm, more just grandma but every you know oh uh, where's grandma from originally where you where's your family from um, they are I mean way way back. Uh, we're German Irish. Oh, German yes. Irish. Yes. How does that even work? Mm, what do you mean? German Irish. Did the Germans do anything bad to the Irish? I can't. Probably. <laughs> I don't remember. Probably. <laughs> yeah, but when you're when you're you're like invoking the German part of you, and when you're yes. when you're being an evil yeah. vampire. Yeah, yeah. It's in my blood. <laughs> I did 23 and me. Have you ever done that? Uh, no, I haven't. It's cool. You did 23? What, did what were the results? I mean, it was, I, I'm 100% white. So no surprises really? there. Um, <laughs> was grandma happy about that? Yeah. So relieved. <laughs> <Woo>! yeah. <laughs> 100% white. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> No, but what did you find out? Um, was it, it does, like what did German, I find Irish, out? Par- you know, French? That I'm it? primarily, I'm like a, a more Scandinavian than I thought and more French than I thought, but primarily German Irish. Wow. I'm just 100% European. But it does cool things. Like it'll tell you, um, like if you're more likely to have freckles or not. Or oh, your really? skin tone. Yeah. Maybe I should. I don't want to do it. No, because then they have your you know, I just, And not yeah. just that. I just, I, mean, I don't want to know. You Why? know, Because like, it's, it's so weird. Because like. That's like I've identified myself and like and, and for so long as like a mixed race, this and that. That you like actually know, you, and you put yourself in this box of like, well, now I can only talk about these things or whatnot, you know. And I just hmm. don't want to do that. Okay. You know, I don't. And I, but I've heard some like crazy. I, I knew a lady. Uh, she was telling me about. So she found out that she was like British and something else. Okay. And then her parents weren't that. Like one of her parents wasn't that. Oh. So that's when she went to them like, hey, yeah, hey uh, do you guys got something to Who tell me? Are you, yeah, the milkman. Tur- turns out, no, it turns out that it was, it was the, 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 it wasn't her real mom, you know. And then that led to her realizing, oh, no. realizing all this resentment that they had for each other over the years was stemmed from that. So her trying to be a good mom, but still being like, you ain't my kid energy mm-hmm. so that's what that revealed you know yeah. so in that case i think it's good because then you have like a you like know now i know why this has been like yeah. this, been like this the whole time so are you only child brothers and sisters i have four younger siblings i didn't know that yeah i'm the oldest of five oh. and three of them are half so my sister kaylin um is 23 oh, this is the divorce you're talking about yes um, you have a sister my that's sis- 23? She took a picture with you. Oh, well, hello. Oh, that's right. You met her. Yeah, that's what I was. She was, was excited I was being when a I pervert. said, hi, Kaylin. <laughs> what did you say? I, said, I don't know. You know me. Yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> I can be too much sometimes. Yeah. Yes, but she, she is a fine younger sister, 23. Hey, boo. She's What's so up, girl? Cute. Yeah, she is. Yeah. She and was UCSB. She lives here now. She's your half sister? That's my whole sister. That's your whole yeah. sister. So she's then, 100% white also. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. (laughs) 
All jokes, everybody. Don't we don't want this any hate, hate mail. Your publicist is going to be like, so <laughs> apparently you're proud of. <laughs> all right, so you have. Um, okay, then both my parents remarried and had more. Um, so my, oh my dad's God. kids, yeah, my yeah. dad's kids are now 14 and 16, and they are half Vietnamese. So my stepmom's Vietnamese. Oh wow, they live in Arcadia. Wow, you have yeah. a Vietnamese yeah. brother and sister. Yeah. They're super cute. That's so crazy. Yeah. And now I'm sure they're so proud. Have they gone to set? Has any of your family guy gone to set with you? Or um, you know, no, because do I can't, I never shoot at home. Oh, that's why you guys are in Atlanta. Yeah. Oh wow. That, oh yeah, because all that outdoorsy shit that you do. Yeah, there. and the tax breaks, I guess. Like I don't yeah. know. I don't know why California won't get their shit together and just do that. I'm doing. I'm recurring on Dollface, which is here, uh-huh. and that's like the first show in, uh, since I'm dying up here. That I don't you, know how they get California though. It's because I think, you know, the reason why I'm dying up here was able to shoot in California is they got that, they had a lottery for like the tax break. It's an actual lottery. Yeah, yeah. It's like some wow. kind of, yeah, I think they, I think it's a random selection. I don't know how they decide actually. I don't know how it really yeah. works, but I know that not a lot of shows got that, but yeah. I'm dying up here was one of the shows that got like a huge tax break. Okay. So that, so now, you know, Atlanta, Hollywood South, everybody's yeah. going to Atlanta to do stuff. Yeah. How was that living out there? It's all right. Have you been there? I've been to Atlanta. Yeah. I hate the weather. It's, I know. E- it's either freezing or st- stupid yeah, hot. Yeah, and we were there from August to December, so it was all of it. It's it, pretty, and the food is great, but I don't know. After a few weeks, you're kind of like, okay. I'm done. Kind yeah. Kind of. Yeah. But did Doogie go with you? <laughs> he visited. I love calling him Doogie. He just visited? Yeah, he came out twice, and then I would come home. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, you could only... It's only... It's four months. It's not, like, horrible, but yeah. It's still horrible. It's a long time. Yeah, that's like a long-distance relationship. It's all. I mean, the last three point. years I've been. Our first year we were together, I was out of town nine months. Oh wow! So I was in London and then oh, Chicago that's, oh, you for were with him, You were with yeah. him when the, uh, during that time. Yeah. Oh my god! So you actually actually have only been together like eleven months, right? <laughs> so it's really only an eleven month relationship. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's why we're not rushing. <laughs> So you need like five years where you'll be like, we've been be together. Hard. I haven't. I, I don't live here. No. <laughs> That's so hilarious. Let me see what time, what, what, where we're at on time. Oh, wow. How much, how much time have we been going here? Perfect. You didn't even think you could do it. Look at you. No, that was, this is so fun. Yeah. You were like, oh, what am I going to talk about? I, know, I don't know yeah. what I'm going to do. <laughs> So what are you what are you watching right now other than like watching the passage what when you live tweet? Am I watching? Yeah, what's what's your what's your jam um, right now? I mean, reality TV, we did watch Bachelor last night. I have the viewing parties with my girlfriends, my comedy sports girlfriends. Really? You watched yeah. The Bachelor? Yeah. It's more out of tradition. Oh god. I watched um, The Bachelor in Paradise. You know who I watched The Bachelor in Paradise with? Who? Michael Mike Angriano and his family. Re- See? Like, like I went over there one time and I'm talking smack and then all of a sudden I'm like Pause it. And then I, I can't believe, you know, that I got into it. Yeah. It's it's a community experience. Like, I wouldn't watch alone because that would be no fun. I'm like, a you big, have to watch it. I'm a group. big brother guy. Oh, see, I've never done that. Oh, yeah. my God. I love Big Brother. Okay. Because it's like a psychological experiment. Like, mm-hmm. it brings out the worst in people. Like, they have to be yeah, monsters that's, that's to dark. be on that show. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you're, you're like, you're backstabbing and... And, and then you have to, like, you know, make alliances and then go back on those alliances and then lie to people. It's like... It's Game of Thrones. It's very yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Which I love. I do I'm love Game say, of Thrones. I watch the trailer. For- <laughs> um, are you ready for the new Game of Thrones? Yeah, I'm excited. I, I, you know you're on a good show when you can wait that long in between seasons. Yeah. How long is that? I don't know. I hear it's terrible to be on Game of Thrones, though. Like, oh, really? Yeah, because you're on hold for like nine months or whatever. Yeah. And they film all over the world. And That's you can't all do the HBO else. shows, kind of. And like yeah. Westworld takes forever. Yeah. I like the, that show, though. Look, I, uh, you watching True Detective? I didn't see the new season, but I liked the first the season. season. Second season I wasn't a fan of. I know. I'm, a, I'm getting to the new season. It's good. But I wasn't a Westworld guy. You really liked Westworld? I did, yeah. Why? Well, I, could, I just appreciated it. It was fun to watch. I just thought it was like... I thought it was like boring Terminator. Really? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's like emo robots. That's yeah. what I thought it was. It's yeah. like, you mean to tell me you can't just reset these damn robots? <laughs> like, you can't, you, can't just, you can't just wipe this hard drive and start Machines over with this? Machines always turn on us. Yeah. I yeah. Say, well, how we still do. Yeah, exactly yeah. what I'm saying. It's emo Terminator. Yeah. What are you watching? I like I like The Passage. <laughs> I like those. I like, you know, my favorite show for like a network show was How to Get Away with Murder. Really? Oh my God! That I went to show college with Jack. So good. I don't know his character name. Oh, who? Which Jack Fallahi. 
He's who is I don't he know on there? Play. I don't know if he's gay on the show or bi, but I feel like he oh, kind of had a male. He's gay on the show. Okay, yeah, I don't know okay. you're talking about. Yes, he's um, gay on the show. Yeah, but it's great. so good. Like they they find ways to like keep, keep heightening the stakes. Shonda. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. I don't like that she went over to Netflix. I know. That just takes away from actors yeah. making money. Right. You know, like that, that's what I, I don't understand. Like, you know, it's like we, there's no way to get rid. There's no real residuals. It's just buyouts. Yeah. So they're, it's like they're ruining the, they're ruining the game. It's what are like, we going to do? I, I, Somewhat, something's going to have to happen at yeah, some point, I right? Feel like, I feel like this, we're going to have to, it's, it's going to be, be a, a hobby. Pro- yeah. You know, it can't be career right. if you can't make money yet. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I think hopefully they're going to. I mean, the union's talking about striking right now anyway. Yeah. Are you are you involved with that, that kind of stuff at all? Mm, are the actors? Yeah. as, a, as I, I don't... Well, no, maybe. I mean, I know. I feel like most of the strikes have been writer strikes so far. Oh, is are that the, what that, that was? I don't know. Is our thing coming up? I don't know. Because I feel like we should be fighting for different exclusivity. Like, I don't think it should be... You, I don't think we should be fighting for, hey, this is only 10 episodes. Nothing. And you locking my life up yes. for a year yes. and a half. Yes. I, don't think that, I don't think that should be legal. Yeah. That's right. I that. know we we sign everything away. I think I we don't really like when we're sitting there testing. Look at, I know. Sign your you just sign your whole Look life away thing. before you even have the, the part. This is, it's still first world problems. Sorry yeah. guys, this is actor problems. This I mean, is people true. people are listening and like, "Oh god, oh, you have to <laughs> You made all that money and you just sit there. Yeah, but it's still it's all relative. Damn it, I want to work. Well, and it's a muscle. It doesn't feel good to not to, like to Hello? not to have to go back to set and you haven't worked in months isn't a great feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a great feeling. So once the passage, once you find out, you don't know if the passage is coming back or not. No, I think we'll know in May. You're going to know in May. I, I'm surprised they haven't just like. They said, they made a big announcement that they were like, we are not doing any early pickups, so don't even ask us about it. And uh, we were like, but you're going to tell but us. You can, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they really didn't. They oh, tra- wow, they that didn't. sucks. Yeah. So. I feel like it's going to come back. Uh, I do think it's going to come back. But if it doesn't come back, I still feel like you're going to work for the rest of your life. Oh, thank you. You know, I, I really do like what you're doing on the show. I just think Thanks. it's like, you know, because what I, what I like, that's what I like about, you know, like I like The Walking Dead, mm-hmm. you know, but because it's like I, I need that like monster dramatic ratio to be. Yeah. And I think the passage has a good ratio for it that. It does. You know, so it's like, you know. Of all the things. It's like thrilling. Yes. It's not just, it's not horror. Right. I think that's like, where like, people like get Like if confused. you took it away, it could just be that, you know, it, it could have been anything. It didn't have to be a vampire. Exactly. It like it's have, not a vampire yeah, show. it's not a vampire show. It's I about agree. the relationships between all the characters. Yes. And like I said, the little girl was great. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. great. There doesn't really. I, don't, I, I never watch it and be There's, like, uh, no. We have a great cast. That per, you know, so we're gonna like. You watch Bloodline. I did watch Bloodline. Jamie did Bloodline. Fanning, who's like the OG oh yes, 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 yeah, yes, I love yes, him yes, so yes. much. Everyone is just. I look forward to working with all of them. Yes, I. But again, I gotta tell you, I I'm always scared when you're on the screen. Really? Yeah, because like, because they do this trick where. When it's like you're in his head, yeah. They they change the lighting, yeah. They All the color that was very important. Yeah, they change the lighting, and yeah. it's like it's very much like, and you're just a creepy ass, yeah, creepy ass chick, man. I just feel like I was like, oh man, I'm, this, what are you tapping into? <laughs> there's a lot of stillness, which we learned kind of was creepier than trying to be chaotic. Oh yeah, the stillness is a little terrifying. Oh, I, mean, I tell you, here's a great terrifying scene. It is so silly, but it's, it was like I was like, "Ooh, that's creepy." It's like he's oh, everybody celebrating, you know? Oh, everybody's celebrating, and, and then like, and you're just no, you're sitting there having a beer, yes. with the officers, yes. And he saw, and he saw, he sees you, and he's just like, you know, but that guy's a ruggedly handsome guy. You have a lot of. He's on. A, he did Boardwalk <laughs> Empire. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he was Lucky Luciano. Oh, that's oh man. Yeah, yeah Vince got, is great. That's what I'm saying. Like, I have watched all of these shows and was just so excited to get to work with everybody. Well, don't worry, people are going to be excited to work with you too. Oh, you're, you're, you're the you're 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 right there. You're you're gonna be you're a star. Oh, thanks. You're a star because you're like you're a big part of that show. I could tell. Like, they're not going to just kill you off. I'm always. Well, I'm of, also immortal. They're gonna. Well, they can, they no, can, I know anything. Can they can hit the lights and listen. listen. It's just one one shot to the heart. <laughs> They haven't actually said like how these vampires well, are killed. We, uh, I think we did at some point. Did they? Yeah, they use a fancier word though for the heart. Oh, there's something. Yeah, like, it's right very in the, technical. The sweet spot. It is. Yeah, it's very a CSI. Of, Miami. There's a lot of jargon. Yeah, a yeah, lot yeah, of like yeah, the yeah. scientific. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very. It's very like yeah. It's very like and the this and that and the viral and the yeah. thing and the that and the this. Yeah. You know, but it's good. But, but you're, I kind can't... Of, you're with it. Like you can kind of. Yeah. Does it confuse you? No, but I. 
I, I don't know. I, I, I just like it. I, I guess part of me is like, because I know you. So it's like, you know, it, how about, let me, at last, let's, let's talk about this before we leave. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, a lot of actors and actresses, mm-hmm. you have friends, you know, and it's like, you want them to be on something good. Of course. You know, because yeah. it's just like a nightmare when they're not. Yeah. It's more fun for all of us. Yeah. Like <laughs> you now I can mean? watch it. That's and, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. It is a nightmare when your friends are on. Because <laughs> uh, I've had people be in some things where I'm like, oh my God. And then they're like my buddy, Chris D'Elia, he was on Whitney. Right. You know, and it was just, it just, <laughs> yeah. yeah. it didn't work out in the end. You yeah. know, I was like, it wasn't believable. These two attractive people are not anyway. Right. But you know, you, you I have a lot of friends that have been on sitcoms where I've been like, yeah. oh, is that a nightmare? Yeah. You know? So this is one where I just enjoy watching it. I'm so, I'm so like, glad. Oh, my God. And there she yeah. is. It's so good. So other than grandma's going to figure it out. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. But have you had like a friend be on something where you like, they were like, hey, how did, did you see it? How was this? And you were like, oh, it was yeah, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. You were so pretty. <laughs> or you're just like, I haven't watched it yet. But oh. like, I'm getting there. Like my podcast. Yeah. <laughs> That's different. I, I know. The podcast world is tricky now, too, because it's also... How is it tricky? Because there's I'm in the middle of a true crime one right now. While you're in your three-hour makeup, I you could be, you know... I did. We used to do that. I used to put them on. Um, I know. now Because now I'm riffing with Griffin. <laughs> uh, and you know what? That's a great way to... <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching Riffin' with Griffin, and... Uh, please look out for the beautiful, the talented, the, the gorgeous, the the vixen. The, the she's done it all. She's gonna do more. Doogie, marry this woman, Doogie. Oh no! <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna see this and he's gonna be like, I love him too. He's a great dude. What's his real name again? Matt. Matt. Yeah. Well, you Matt, can call yeah. him Doogie. Uh, <laughs> please. Oh, Doogie the lawyer, uh, but I do thank you for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. No, and I told you you were going to have a good time. She it's was just so, so worried. fun. I don't, I've never done one before. I don't think really. Yeah, because you, you're so used to doing your passage press where it's like, yeah, some of them are, blah, blah, blah. And now you're here. Like, you yeah. know, this is like, we're just having a good conversation. Yeah. But but thanks for coming on. Of course. And guys, this has been Riffin with Griffin. And uh, tonight, because I'm putting this one out, tonight, please watch. Well, actually, if, if people stay on, it's like, it doesn't matter. But. <laughs> If, if you if you watched it for the first time, yeah. the podcast tonight, watch the passage season finale, two hour season finale, yeah. and if you've watched the, this podcast later, go back and watch on Hulu. Watch the passage; it's a great show. It's Green and Howie, thank you for coming on. Thank you so much. Come on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>